so um, if you have not um, watched the video on how to make this pattern please check our last video update to get the video tutorial on how to make this pattern so um, we're going to start by marking out our pattern uh, this is a hundred percent leather it is a short leather which we are going to use for this um, shoe so after marking the leather we cut it out make sure you marked out all the details on the pattern so after that you punch your stitching holes and the strap holes so you can see it is reflecting at the back of the leather so now you use your marking uh, pen to mark out the shape of the stitching lines or the stitching holes where we are going to attach a strap that will help us get the shape we want so this is the rope we are going to use we are going to gum it along or in between the stitching holes so um have measured the length so it is going to be two one for the left one for the right so you measure the same length and prepare them for that So next thing you apply gum along that stitching holes. You apply your gum along the stitching holes. So um, you are also going to apply gum on the rope. Uh, this is a regular rope that you know. So you go to the market and get it. So you apply gum to on it for easy fixing so when the gum must have dried you make sure you fix the rope in between the two stitching holes so it is going to be at the center of the stitching holes so you run it around that shape and make sure it starts from that point and ends at the point of the stitching holes so now we are going to cut out this uh, shape firstly we are going to mark it out um, we're going to use it to trim the edges of the pattern so we're going to mark out the shape here you can see the shape so um, we're going to sew it around the edges of the pattern and then we're going to fold it to trim the edges of the pattern So you can see I have sewed the leather to the edges of the pattern and you can see I have attached my straps. You can see it. So I'm going to turn this around after I must have applied gum around it. You see? So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to apply gum around it and then fold it to trim the edges of the pattern
so when the gum must have dried you carefully fold it around so watch closely to see what I am doing you fold it around the edgy edges of the leather and then you are done with that step so we are done with this step trimming of the edges so we are done with it so let's move to the next step so now we are going to hand stitch the tongue uh, this shape we're going to hand stitch it so um, it is very simple pass the stitching needle from the other side of the hole under the rope and then bring it towards the other side of the hole hope you understand you push your needle from the first hole that is the outside hole then make sure that the needle passes through the rope under um, that shape that rope that we gummed at the back of the leather so um, the needle has to go from the other side pass under the rope and then comes out from the other side of the opposite hole you do it continuously till you get to the other side that's the other end so let me repeat what i've said before the needle has to go in from the outside hole then pass under that rope that was gummed under the leather and then comes out from the opposite hole in the stand and that is how the stitching has to go continuously till we are able to get this shape So you can see what we have here we already have our shape so you can see it um, I think uh, we are done with this step we're going to move over to the next step so let me key the stitching let me key it so that it won't lose I'm just going to back stitch it once and then I am done with that um, side so after that we stitch our counterpoint we stitch the counter line so um, you can see that from that our stitching line and then we are going to add this letter here so that we can 
fortify the counter line that is the joint So after attaching your landing, sorry we couldn't uh, display that because I don't want this video to be too long. So we're going to make a tutorial on how to um, attach our landing, but that will be in another video. So after attaching your landing, you fix your stiffener front and back and then you last the pattern. So most of the stages or steps skipped in this video will come up in our subsequent videos.
so this is the much we can take on this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get update uh, because more videos are still on the way so thank you see you in our next video and have a nice day